Hello, 7th graders. This is Mr. Kashi speaking. Obviously, you can see I uh, am not able to be in class today, but I will uh, be going over the lesson on uh, 2.8, which is on scientific notation. So our schedule for the day is on the board. Uh, attendance should be taken uh, now if it hasn't been already. Uh, we will collect the homework, but I want to do that in a little differently than we're used to. Um, we will take uh, one slide on vocabulary. We'll take some notes on scientific notation, and the assignment is out of the book today. The things that you need out are notebook, vocab sheet, and obviously a writing utensil, preferably a pencil. Okay, those three things need to be out. Now, the first thing we're going to do is collect the homework. I Obviously, I can't take any questions there. If you have um, a couple of questions and the sub can answer them, that's fine. But what I would like you to do is, before you hand it in, I would like you to circle what you think are the three hardest problems on there. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, well, all of them are easy. But what you need to do is, out of the problems that were there, I want you to circle what you think are the three hardest. Okay, you're comparing the problems to themselves, not comparing the problems to your ability. I want you to circle the three hardest ones there. And then you may um, pass that in, uh, and I will correct that on my own. All right. Once again, if I'm going too fast, just have the sub uh, pause the video where we're at, and then she can continue um, uh, whenever you're ready. So. Moving on, this would be your notes. Okay, scientific notation. Please put today's date up in the upper left hand corner. And as you do that, I'll read off the objective. Today, by the end of the class, by the end of the class today, you will be able to write standard numbers in scientific notation and convert scientific notation into standard numbers. So you'll be able to go back and forth. All right. And the first, uh, and I believe the only vocab uh, for today is scientific notation. All right, scientific notation, kind of a long definition, so make sure you ha you plan ahead and have plenty of room. So it is a number written as a product of two factors. Okay, one of them is so one one number is between one and ten, and one is a power of ten. Okay, both very important. A number is written as a product, two factors. One of them has to be between 1 and 10. Now, there might be some long decimals, things like that, but it has to be between 1 and 10, and then the other is a power of 10. And obviously, we'll be going through some examples there. Uh, if you need to have the video paused, I would do so now. If uh, you need to um, have more time writing that down, but I have to move on to the examples. How many spaces are there? That's the main question when we are going from a standard form, what you see on the board here, to scientific notation. How many spaces are there? Okay. So what I need you to do is I need you to write this down. 3,400. That needs to go in your notes. After you write 3,400, you should know that the decimal right now is behind that second zero. And what we need to do is we have to move that decimal as many spaces as we need to get our number in between 1 and 10. Okay? So in order to do that, we have to move this decimal to the left 1, 2, 3 spots and put the decimal there. Now 3.4, 3.4 is a number in between 1 and 10. Okay, so that's what we have to write down. That is our first factor, as they said in our scientific notation, 3.4. And then the other factor has to be a power of 10. Okay, so we have to multiply that by 10, and the number that goes in the exponent here is the number of spaces that we moved our decimal. Okay, so obviously we moved it once, twice, three times, so we have a 3 in the exponent there. 3.4. Okay, so with that on the board, I want you to make some notes on this expression. Okay, So I want you to circle this, 3.4, put a little arrow up here. Okay, little reminder that says, hey, 
between 1 and 10. Okay. Then I want you to circle this exponent right here. Little reminder, number of spaces decimal moved. Okay, well the decimal moved three spaces so that's what our exponent is. Okay, and this has to be between um, three, or it has to be between one and ten, and 3.4 is between one and ten. Alright, I'll try and leave that up there as much as possible, but I do want to go on to another example. Okay, so if we have 45 million, 45 million, okay, you should know that the decimal is out here, so we're going to put this in scientific notation as well. So we have to move it. Now we have to move quite a few spaces, not just three, but we have to find out one, two, three, four, five, six. Forty-five isn't between one and ten, but 4.5 is. Okay, so that's what we have to do. We have to write 4.5 down. That's the first part of our scientific notation. Then we have to multiply it by ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is what goes in as our exponent. 4.5 times 10 to the seventh. All right. So those are two examples, one with a little bit of notes, of going from standard form to scientific form. Once again, if you need the video pause to keep jotting these notes down, you need a little more time, have the sub pause it, and um, then you can move on whenever you're ready. Now, now we have to go the other way. If we're given scientific notation, we have to put it in standard form. Okay? So, hopefully you can kind of see where this is going. But, now we're given 9.8, and then we have to bring that decimal, decimal point back out seven spots. So we have 9.8, and then that 7 is telling us how many spots we have to move it out. So we have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Decimal goes right there. Now you can guess what goes in all these blanks. And of course, if there's just blanks, they become zeros. And then remember, there's we count from the decimal from right to left. 1, 2, 3. There's a comma there. 1, 2, 3. This is 98 million. This is in standard form now. 98 million. So this. 7 tells us that it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spots. That's where they got this 7. Okay. Moving on, one more example. One more example. Okay, so we need to have, we have 7.6 times 10 to the third. This is in scientific notation. We have to put it in standard form. This is 7.6. And then we have to move it, move that decimal three times. So we go one, two, three. Put the new decimal there. Add the zeros in. So our answer is 7,600. Okay, I'm hoping some of you have at least seen this before, so maybe some of you have done it before, uh, but you have to be able to go from scientific notation to standard form and standard form to scientific notation. Okay, this is going to help you later on in math because we'll be talking about really large numbers and really small numbers, and we don't want to be writing all those zeros in. We can just put 9.8 times 10 to the 121st, Okay, that would be writing a lot of zeros. We can condense it down to just one little line like this. All right. So another example here would be 3.4 uh, times 10 to the eighth, but that is exactly. Oh no, it's it is different than that one. Okay, so you would have um, 3.4 times 10 to the eighth. Okay, and then you would move this eight 
spaces out. 3.4 is in between 1 and 10. So we drop the 3.4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Another decimal. Put in the zeros. 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma, 340 million. Okay? Now, the point that I wanted to show here is that this is shorter than that. Okay? The 3.4 times 10 to the 8th is shorter than that. Now, if that's just 10 to the 8th and you have this many zeros, well, what if we put in 10 to the 26th? Okay. Well, that would be a lot of zeros. We wouldn't want to write all those zeros. That's a very large number. So if we just write it like this, it'll save us a lot more time. Okay. So that was the point I was trying to make. Once we start talking about really large numbers, we don't want to be writing all those uh, zeros in to save us time. We can write it like this, and we're still talking about the same uh, number, the same quantity. Your assignment today is out of the book. It is on page 108 and it's problems 8 through 24 even and number 28 as well. All right. Make sure that your first and last name is on it. Make sure that all of your answers are boxed. Skip lines in between each problem and uh, make sure you start on the left side. Uh, make sure that you start uh, a column on the left side of your notebook paper that you'll be turning into me. Um, I will be taking questions on this assignment before you hand it in um, the next time I see you in class. All right? This will be due at the beginning of class tomorrow, as always. So we will hopefully see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of the day and keep your stick on the ice.